Sup guys, it's Senkosh and Idol Bounty Beginner's Guide. This game isn't usual idol game, it requires some planning and proper actions to do, otherwise you will get stuck early on, well maybe in the mid game, and you will have issues. So I will tell you what exactly do you need to, in order to go through most of the game. Um, at some point it will slow down, that point for me was, uh, let me show you, somewhere when I got to this cave, uh, in the end of the game like over here this area with the bear and this cave that's where it started slowing down for me after that cave it slowed down even more but it's possible if you do the right thing so first things first recruitment you would like to recruit specific heroes you don't want to spend your extra resources that you saved up right like i have right now 3k food and 56 wood on the random guys like rookie like hunters those are useless for you right now you should focus on the guys who are giving you dps those are rogue and the bear basically everybody else can be one hero you don't need many of those maybe you can get some extra veteran fighters if you have extra food sometimes but usually not because those guys are tanking otherwise just go for the rogues mainly and the bears that are available in the wolf then but we bought two of those already and there are no more as for the skills uh honestly i don't think that they worth it because most of those are increasing damage of specific heroes and they are not good just get the skills that are helping your team to uh do more damage so for example wolf skin uh skin skill howling it will increase wolf damage by 150 percent for 15 seconds but in reality it seems that it's improving everyone's damage i don't know why acceleration for veteran fighter attack speed of one random unit is increased for 10 seconds although i thought that some of those skills are passive and being used automatically but it doesn't seem so you will see in the battle sequence that uh you really don't get those things available before you get to some troublesome area and usually i'm getting like a stunning shot here and uh resurrection from the priestess but mostly i'm getting the skills that are awarded for me um from the hero i don't know why maybe it's a bug it will be fixed later but for now yes i would advise you guys to get the skills that will buff your main dps your carry damage and speed so which heroes do you need uh at this point in the game i have those guys unlocked when you progress you get one of each you can get several hunters like two or three maybe because they will be your carries for a while after that you can get few wolves, they have pretty good DPS as well, no more than 2 or 3 I think, 5 is overkill, 2 bears and as many rogues as possible because rogue will be your end game main DPS, Arbalester isn't that good really soon, so when you get the hunter, Arbalester will start to be weak, so those are the heroes that you want to get and you definitely don't want to go around and spend your money on something useless. For example, we have this uh, recruit units area with a bunch of units, but they are all useless for us, so you don't really want to get them if you want to be efficient. Another thing are daily quests. You really want to do them every day because they give you the chance of getting the equipment, and that's really, really nice. And some free gear, which is nice as well. So basically, you want to do all those and fight all those group of enemies that are marked in the quest. Uh, the good thing that those guys are usually weak and the fight with the... Uh, those trogs or whatever they are will take maybe, I don't know, 5 minutes because we are strong already, so we go in, we take out few enemies, uh, we summon our units and then it goes automatically from here and everyone is being one-shotted, so it's pretty easy and straightforward. In this fight, if, oh, we have 25 stages, those guys are g getting harder. Uh, in this fight I will show you the mm, best formation and how it should develop so for example like if you're early game and you only got the wolf and veteran fighter like we are right now you should switch places of veteran fighter and the wolf that way uh your arbalester and maybe a hunter will get extra damage when you unlock the hunter uh you switch hunter places with the priestess priestess will still buff uh your arbalester and the hunter and both of those guys will get extra DPS and that will be good, like that, that will be your top DPS team for now on. After that, you will unlock the bear. When you will unlock the bear, you will, well, let's get him. There we go. So when we unlock the bear, we would like to switch his places with the 
Arbolester, because Arbolester is a really weak character after that, so he becomes useless and obsolete pretty fast. And you have the bear and the hunter as your main DPS before you get to the row. And those milestones are 20 for wolf, 50 for priestess, uh, and as much as you want after that, because those unlock your really good buff that buffs your entire, well, not entire team, but the heroes are that are around those guys. For the wolves, it's those units on the sides, but it's actually two units behind the wolf, so it's important to get him in the right position. At this point, you can just farm or just get as many upgrades as possible, because that will increase your army DPS as well, since you get on those upgrades that buff your entire army damage. Uh, keep in mind that, like, for Arbalester, for example, and Rookie mostly, you get a lot of upgrades <coughs> for that hero damage, and those are pretty useless. So they will help you out. You really want to focus on the all units damage here. And once you unlock the rogue, you would like to move uh, Hunter to this position and Rogue in his position. That way, Rogue will get most buffs from everyone. So kinda he will be your main DPS. You can switch Rogue with the bear from time to time, depending on the stage of the game you are in. Bear can do more damage at some points, but at the end game, Rogue will be your top damage dealer and uh, you would like to invest, like put him on the main carry spot where he gets the most buffs and that's that's point where he is right now. You, he get bonus from the wolf, from the hunter, from the uh, rookie, from the veteran fighter and the priestess, from all the units around him. And he is ge getting the maximum DPS at, in this point. So when you get to this point, just upgrade everyone as much as possible in order to get those all army DPS bonuses and just go through the game. Keep in mind that you have some offline progression in this game, so when you are offline, your guys are going through the stages and waves, but really slowly, so if you would be fighting this fight, it's way faster to leave the phone running by default, by, you know, idly, or just click screen in order to make it even faster, because our fingers DPS is, temp DPS is really strong, specifically if we upgrade our carries, and, um... Yeah, that will allow you to go through the stage way faster, specifically the easy ones where you can defeat the enemies with the taps. If you go to the harder stages, which are challenging and higher, there you will have issues using your fingers, so your tap damage will be really insignificant in comparison with your rogue and bear damage, your army damage, so yeah, in those stages you will have to wait for your heroes to defeat the enemies. As for the fight guys, if you are having the hard fight, this is the one we are in right now, you can go offline for a while to get extra gold, but it might not help. The interesting thing about this game though, that you get the skills that are really useful, not the crappy ones from your hero that are pretty useless, only when you are closer to the boss and dying and kinda like that, so you can't save up the right skills for your current task right now, you will actually have to wait till the boss and then just save up what exactly do you need. And uh, for us, like early on, I recommend you guys having stunning shot, it will give you some extra time on the boss fight, for example, that's like 3 seconds, uh, 9 seconds for 3 stuns, so that should be enough time if you are struggling with the boss and you are really close to killing it, or otherwise you can get the buffs for your entire team for the damage, it might not work. And another option that you have is using the potion, like potion of power, weak ones can be farmed, so they are easy to get. If you are struggling really hard, you can get decent potion of power. We will use that one for now, just to make sure that we definitely kill the enemy. And uh, that will help you to farm faster in that area when you are stuck. And that will help you to take out the boss easier. And it can be combined with those skills in order to get the more damage out. So here is the boss of stage 41 of 42 that got me good last time. And now because of the additional damage that we have, from the potion, he is going down pretty easily. And as you can see, my skill did almost zero damage to him, so those are useless. Use the ones that buff your uh, team damage or the ones that are giving you um, extra time, for example. So I have one resurrection from the priest and three of those, and those should be enough, and resurrection will be used in case of our tank in the front will die. Also, try to save up gold for important upgrades. In our case, it should be either Rogue or the Bear, 
Uh, honestly, if I would be trying really hard, I would save up for the rogue because his damage boost will be way higher than the bear's. But the bear here will give damage to everyone, so that's a good option as well because the rogue will get part of that as well. So here is the boss, and we're fighting him. And uh, how you should use those stun moves? Basically, you wait and uh, take care of enemies and rage uh, bars. So we got the first rage coming up right now. Bam, it's here, and uh, closer to the second end rage when it will be happening, and you will see that your tank is dying, you should start using those skills one after another, slowly, in order to stand and stun lock him and use up your uh, options, your capabilities. Now, another advice I can give you is open those chests and hope to get the gear, because the gear is really nice. Although, I'm not in luck recently, so I'm not getting the stuff that I would like to get. And I'm getting some crappy gear here and consumables, but uh, gear actually helps you out, like Rogue doesn't have any, maybe it's not in the game yet, Bear doesn't have any, but the stuff that we have for the Hunter is usually given either the specific unit or all units damage, which is really nice, that's what we are aiming for, all units damage. So uh, try to get as much gear as possible and unlock it on every character. Now, I want to show you something special. Those caves that you have over here have the pools that actually have the potions. So, bam, this pool will have one small portion of power that's like double your damage. Pretty useful if you got into the hard stage and you can farm that every day because uh, after the cooldown you can get extra. Bam, and this pool have another extra and in 6 hours you can get more. And you should always collect those because those are essential for your progression. You will need them later on in order to go through the hard stages. Otherwise, they will take you days and days of progression, which is really bad. Another tip that I can give you that... up oh, no, don't fight those yet. That uh, instead of fighting, you can collect wood by collecting trees. Let me find those. Trees are pretty early into the game, so you will find them next to this beach and the cave where we found those potions uh the one is up here at the goblin area bam that's 11 wood right here for you for free and there is another one nearby as well so that's the easiest way to harvest wood bam there is another one that's six extra and those respawn every 12 hours so that's a little bit of extra of that you can get every day and uh after that you can sa save those up and recruit extra rogues in order to do more DPS to the enemy. After you're done with all your main quests, you can progress the game by uh, doing the repeatable fights. Those enemies, they respawn from time to time. This is just a normal one. Yeah, but this one is respawnable. You can see it right next to their rewards. So they can be fought every day. They will respawn after some time and you can fight them again. That way you can farm extra food and wood. And the further you are, the more uh, resources the guys will have. So at the early stages, the first enemies just have some extra food. But if you go to the through the stages, you will face respawnable enemies that have like plenty of food and food for you. So now we have even more wood in, with those guys. But keep in mind that those take 41 stages and sometimes can be quite tricky since this one is challenging for us. So we're not ready for this one. And it's better if you're going for the farming to go for the fair or easy fights because those can be done quicker and you can move on to the next fight. And at the moment of recording this video, it seems that this island is the end of the game where you get the boat because I haven't found any more progression here. It took me about a week to get here. It was a fun journey. And if we click development notes, after 25 days, there will be more content in the game. So you can check the game from time to time in order to uh, see what's new and maybe get some more progression. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. I will make another video if I'll find something new. But yeah, guys, those are the main tips that I can give you for Idle Bounty. Mainly, it's about the hero position in the fight and proper spending of your resources. You don't want to spend them on useless units, otherwise it will take you forever to build your team. And uh, yeah, when you're fighting the enemy that are tough, you can wait for a few days, but usually it's more useful to buy the potion, just use the potion that you get in that cave, and that usually goes through the most 
pies. And I haven't encountered the pies that are extremely hard for me if I use every tip that I gave you in this video. And guys, last tip for you, you can play this game on the PC by downloading LD Player. The link is down below in the video description that will save up your battery and you can actually, you know, control it uh, in the background, don't use up your phone and keep it running in order to get more gold while you're idling. Let me know in the comments what you think about this guide. If you have any extra tips, let me know there as well. Other people will read that and subscribe to the channel and hit that like button for YouTube algorithm. Smash it, destroy it. That will help out a lot. You can check the video description for the links for link tree where you can find my other YouTube channels, my Discord and social media. You can find uh, more uh, reviews and first impressions over there uh ld player android emulator link over there and a lot of other useful things so you will find something cool over there for sure other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand push out have a good one bye